Hey everyone, we know that a lot of you missed our top 5s, so today we're publishing one. And we really think that a lot of you will identify with it. Here are 5 games that push friendships to their breaking point. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and share this video. Hey! <laughs> now, without further ado, here are 5 games that will test your friendship time and time again. Mario may seem like one of the nicest, coolest, and most peaceful games ever, right? Well, it ain't. There's absolutely nothing innocent about this game. We get so competitive while racing that even the computers manage to piss us off. And it only gets worse when we play against real people, because real people can smirk. With Mario Kart 8, it doesn't matter how long you've been friends for or whether you're playing with your partner or a complete stranger. Because when that green light turns on and you break open your first item box, all that's going through your head is, how soon can I start destroying this person by throwing bananas, shells, lightning bolts, or piranha plants in their face? Oh, and how angry does that stupid coin make you? If you're in first place, shouldn't it do something? And then there's the Turbo Mushroom, which you hold on to so tightly just so you can use it when you're a few meters from your goal and are able to pass your opponent right when it'll hurt the most. Whoever said that Nintendo only has games that are family friendly and non-confrontational definitely never played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with their siblings. Monopoly and Uno may have started out in physical form, but they kept with the times and went digital at some point or another. And well, we're sure that the developers were thinking, hey, these games work so well in the real world that they'd make great video games. There is one thing they overlooked, and that is the sheer number of Monopoly boards and Uno cards that have ended up in worse shape than the characters at their red wedding in Game of Thrones. We're talking about board flips, hysterical tears, torn up cards, and angry threats. The works. How many households and friendships have these games destroyed? I hate you. Did the developers really think that the mood would be any different when people played these games on console? Did they? Did they? And while it's great that it's a lot harder for people to cheat, it certainly doesn't stop us from wanting to throw a controller at someone's head when they get a fucking 4 plus or when they build hotels on Park Place and Boardwalk. The only positive thing that we can think of is that the rules come from the game and not from that one friend who only tells you the rules that suit them and their strategy. Right Now Among Us is one of the hottest games around, despite having been released back in 2018. And while the characters are so cute and round, don't let that deceive you. The Inner Sloth game is breaking friendships apart, because its whole foundation is built on lying, betrayals, murder, and competition. So while it might seem like a simple, harmless game, it's no doubt destroyed friendships and the odd couple too. There are people, ourselves included, who have witnessed firsthand just how terrifying it is to find out how good your other half or bestie is at lying. The mechanics of this game are super simple. You're on a ship with 10 other people, and among you, there are usually 1 to 3 imposters. And these imposters try to kill everyone on the ship, while the crew members are trying to complete tasks to win the game. <laughs> what the fuck? There's a meeting every time someone reports a body, and players can also call emergency meetings, which tend to end up being messier than a dysfunctional family together for Christmas dinner. Oh no! Cops, cops, cops! 
If you've ever played FIFA with your friends, then you know exactly why it's on our list. Despite this game never really changing, it is undoubtedly one of the best games you can play with friends at home or online. And let's be honest, the latter is probably the better option, since being able to mute yourself really helps when all you want to do is shout insults at your friend. Hi, what a puta! <laughs> the thing is that with FIFA more than any other game, you have to win if you play against friends. You don't have the option to lose. If you do, everyone will laugh at you for the entire week, and there goes your honor and any respect your teammates may have had for you. And the only way you're getting any of that back is by winning. And this need to win not only applies to one-on-one -on -one matches, but also two-on-two -two matches. Because if your partner is a pro and you suck, you're equally as screwed. Oh, and then there's the moment when you have to shoot a penalty shot. Because man, oh man, that feeling you get when you start seeing those sidelong glances at your controller and the feeling of mistrust growing between you and your friend with every step your player takes towards the penalty line, it's indescribable. And the thing is, if you score, great. But if you miss, you have no choice but to say that your controller isn't working properly, the buttons are sticking, or the game is glitching. And usually, right after this happens, your friend stabs you in the back and scores. And trust us, there's nothing worse than an idiotic friend rejoicing over your demise and forcing you to watch the replay of their goal. And this, my friends, is why it takes all our strength not to throw controllers at people's heads while we're playing FIFA. If you still have all your friends after playing a round of Mario Party, congratulations because you are an absolute hero. Let us know in the comments and we'll send you a badge of honor. Because Mario Party, much like Monopoly or Parcheesi, was clearly created with terrible intentions. We still don't understand how these kinds of games can be marketed towards children <laughs> when all they do is unleash your inner anger and turn you more and more into a little walking psychopath with every turn you take and every mini game you play. Oh, and things only get worse when you're paired up in a game and your partner is worse than a bad toothache. Uh, to be fair though, this is the perfect game to play with someone you don't like because it'll be the last push your friendship needs in order for you to end things. Mario Party is the perfect way to make anyone hate you. Ah, thinking back to all the times we played this, the part that sucks the most is definitely when you pour your blood, sweat, and tears into obtaining stars only to have your conniving friend pay Boo to steal it from you. When this happens, it's time to kick that person out of your goddamn house because that is one line that should never be crossed. So which of these games made you lose the most friends? Only temporarily though, we hope. Did we miss any epic relation-destroying titles? And if you like this video, let us know because we can make a lot more like them. Man, it's almost sad to think that we have more games that have destroyed friendships than we have friends. Oh well, tis life, we suppose. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, spread it around, and subscribe to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.